Hey guys, I kind of want to explain the treatment that I'm getting from Jeff Wilson's fans. I'm sure they have a Discord channel, maybe emails, or maybe he's writing legal letters using my name, my company's name, and my home address. And I just want to explain something. He never contacted me as a professional courtesy from one marketing consulting agency to another. If you are going to use my name, my home address, you're going to do PPP loan searches on me, which indicated that I didn't take a PPP loan. I explained that, that I may have received, I received a thousand dollars from the government to my business account. Maybe it wasn't a PPP loan and maybe they took it back and that's why none of my companies took a PPP loan. You did an investigation on me, you did an investigation on my two companies you didn't find a single PPP loan taken. So I stand by corrected. I didn't take a PPP loan and I am in the same as I've shown you. I've even shown you my taxes. My taxes, the ID that we register is the service is marketing. They're probably the same service that you put down on your partnership taxes. Correct me if I'm wrong. I showed it off in live stream. So, I want you to understand what Jeff is doing to my small business because it's happened one time before, but due to cancel culture, I wasn't able to get my side of the story out because they had actually canceled me. Uh, this was a marketing agency with, you know, Jeff loves to use LinkedIn as some type of barometric, even though I've 10 times as many followers as you, Jeff, and we share 15 of these same first connections. So when I post something, I post enough of it, I guarantee you those people will see it in your network. That's how LinkedIn works. That's how the algorithm works, right? So when Jeff attacks me, um, people are threatening my life. Um, I will use one example. I don't even want to use his name, but I'll use his first name and then the initial. And you know it's serious when I have to read off our phone because i looking at this from a legal perspective i don't want to misquote anything i'm just going to tell you how it is so michael why and he has say, said things according to jeff like my he he commented on my video that runrex is a trash can is a trash can emoji company he's been incredibly negative i think he's leading me hateful phone calls which i've uploaded on discord channel um, that's probably going to be the place in the future that I upload all these phone calls. He is a digital native, a creative, a photographer, a digital marketer, and a believer. Surprisingly, he lives in Atlanta, Georgia. And he's a wedding photographer. His website is shit. His social media is shit. He blocked me from Facebook. I tried to engage. No, and this is my point. If you got a beef with somebody, sit down and talk to them. At least make the phone call. Make the effort. Jeff Wilson is scraping every little information about me he can online. So he has my phone number, which is on both websites he's referring to. It's the same phone number, direct phone number. He can text me, he can call me. He has my email. Again, he is mentioning both my websites on a legal argument as you know, in a legal document he sent to Sports Card Radio. Again, Jeff, you could have contacted my email. I would have responded. You have my YouTube email, right? That's how you found Sports Card Radio's email. You have my home address. You have all the information that you need to know about me. And I didn't get a single phone call. I didn't get a single text message before you use my personal information. And it, don't get me wrong. It is my personal information, Jeff. You dox me. You dox me. So Jeff, don't get this, don't get this twisted, okay? Before you use me and put my name, Tony Gore, you put my company, Runrex, you put the company address, which is my home, and you mentioned it's in the suburb, you know it's my home, Jeff, because your lawyer mentions it. What type of human being does that? What type of family man does that, Jeff? You didn't contact me to confirm if anything, hey, on LinkedIn, it says you have 10 employees. Is that correct? Is that incorrect? That would have been incorrect. We don't have 10, we have less. 
Sometimes people pretend to be our employees. I don't really know why, but it might be because we have more followers than your company, Jeff, with 40, 59, whatever uh, many employees you said you had. We have more followers. I have 10 times as many followers as you. I, I think you forgot to mention that. You said we weren't in the same business. We're in apples to oranges, right? I absolutely vehemently disagree with that. I think you framed myself, you, you talk about slander and you talk about this, but what are you doing to me, Jeff? As a professional courtesy from one marketer to another, I know that you're a marketer, I'm a marketer. You say, hey, we're sending this letter to your sports card radio, this is what we're saying, this is your part. You didn't need to tell me about what else you're saying. You just say, this is the part that we did the research on you. You didn't give me that common courtesy, Jeff. The lawyers that you hired, from one attorney to another attorney, they owe me that common courtesy. It's not ethical, it's not legal, it's not binding in any way, it's just a common professional courtesy that you do before you mention somebody's name, Jeff. You've never communicated with me. Not one time. And this is the same as your mother effing followers, Jeff. Hey, if this Michael Y individual has an issue and he's berating my company, I want to approach him and say, hey, what's going on, Michael? Why do you hate my company so much? He lives in Atlanta, Georgia. You might know him. In fact, Jeff, he follows you. He lives in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm, I would not be shocked if he knew you and you met him at some type of sports convention and you set your hounds on me. That is my assumption. You made a lot of assumptions about me, Jeff. Let me make an assumption about you. You are not who you think you are. You are not that guy. Professional courtesies aside, Jeff, how would you feel if I sent a letter to a YouTuber and I mentioned in that legal recourse letter where I'm seeking and trying to get the person to apologize, I mentioned you. And I never, I, I never tell you this, I don't, give, I don't tell you, I don't mention, I never communicate with you that I'm going to use your name, how many PPP loan money, which is what you did to me, right? You searched my companies and you found out I didn't take a PPP loan. What if I had sent that to all your businesses, all the businesses on Lantern that you do, that you, you publicly post, that you have done business with? Now I'm sending cease and desist letters to them because I don't like them. And I mentioned you, Jeff. And we did a PPB search on your company, Free52, which has a shitty YouTube channel, a shitty website, shitty social media, yet you claim that it's so much better than my company. If you took the time, the five minutes of your day to contact me, you have my phone number, you've looked at my websites, you've put them as site links, as links, as sources of proof. And you couldn't do me the common courtesy of calling me ahead of time. That's who you are, Jeff. You're not that guy. 